Can ChatGPT save Manchester United? So I've asked ChatGPT. Let's pretend you're the Manchester United manager and you have the option to sell three players and buy three players. Who would they be? Well, first, shut up. I'm obviously here to save this horrific team. So let's start by selling three players on this horrible team. So first player I will be selling is Harry Maguire. Despite his leadership qualities, his performance has often been inconsistent and selling him could free up funds and space for a more reliable center back. We finally got rid of the trash in the back. Next player I will be selling is Anthony Marshall. Marshall has shown flashes of brilliance, but has been plagued by injuries and inconsistency. Selling him could allow for investment in a more dependable forward. The last piece of trash to leave the club is Donny Van de Beek. Van de Beek has struggled to make a significant impact since joining from Ajax, and a move might benefit both the player and the club by freeing up funds and a squad spot. So the three players replacing them will first up be Declan Rice, a solid defensive midfielder who can provide stability and control in the midfield, complementing Bruno Fernandes and potentially taking over from an aging Nemanja Matic. Declan Rice does not play for West Ham and Matic ain't even on United anymore, little bro. Just shut up and let me cook. Anyways, the last two players I'm signing are Jules Koundé and Osim. I'm tired of yapping anymore, so you can just read out why if you want. Anyways, Koundé is now in the team as well as Osim Hen. What a beautiful team I've built. It's alright, but let's see if you can win United a trophy and get them to top four with those signings. You couldn't win them the FA Cup or Carabao Cup. And you only got sixth in the league, so you failed. Shit, it's because I forgot to sell Anthony.